evening again. Uh, the resolution before you tonight is to consider um, approving the change order uh, for the Stewart Road project. And to summarize uh, the conversation, what this uh, change order is about is that the contractor has is, is proposed a new method of uh, putting in some of the road work and it reduces the quantities of the material. And as a result of the reduction in the quantities and some of the labor involved to do this work, there is a redu reduction in the overall cost uh, for the contractor's bid. And per uh, federal regulation and, and state bidding regulations, the contractor is able to uh, pass along the savings to us, but they also get to recover uh, approximately 50% of the savings for the proposed reductions. Staff has reviewed the proposal and feels that it does not change the integrity of the uh, construction method of the project and that uh, we will uh, recommend that council consider approving uh, this resolution tonight to accept the change order. Okay. Just one clarification. When you say the option, it, it was one of the optional choices given for the original design, correct? Uh, that is correct. Uh, the geotechnical firm that was hired to do that analysis uh, presented two options in their report. Um, when the bid package was put together, they chose the option that the contractor bid on. Through further analysis and looking at those options, uh, the contractor proposed. We looked at it again and felt that this was a viable option as it had already been vetted uh, prior with the geotechnical experts. Move to approve resolution 2015-230. Um, it's brought up to the board, you know, as discussed, it was part of the initial design options. Um, the original design was to select the, the larger or the deeper um, and increase in the construction uh, of the road, but it was a viable option. Um, so, under the circumstances that we have to share our savings, um, just means that, you know, to me, as long as we're not compromising the, man the building of that road, that's going to later further down the road cause us an issue. And I believe under these circumstances it won't. So, I feel like we should yeah, this, this is a proven technique using the uh, fabric instead of just having additional fill. They basically they're reinforcing the fill that goes in instead of just using more of it. Any further comments? I have a quick question though. Why did they choose the other option that you know? Some of it is the constructability, that uh, the part of the change order we also recover three days of construction, uh, but it, again, it's just also the, the scheduling, is we have the same contractor on both of the projects, there's some scheduling advantages as well for the contractor as we're looking at managing both projects. Uh, so that was part of their thinking as well as moving the crews and the equipment around, that there was an <coughs> advantage to do that. So do we know why when it was originally bid, why they chose the other option versus this? The contractor didn't choose the other option, but the design uh, firm that put the uh, package together at that time, they made that decision. And I'm sorry, I can't speak to uh, their rationale why they chose that one over, over the okay. other. Right. Okay. Comments from the audience. And then we'll call the council, please. Councilmember Jones? Aye. Councilmember Tate? Aye. Councilmember Sutton? Aye. Councilmember Stegman? Aye. Thank you, Council. Okay, next item on the agenda resolution number 2016 231. Approval to purchase. I thought we were only doing two. We're doing approving three, but we're only doing two at this time. We did not discuss that. Talk about tomorrow. Okay. I mean, we we possibly could only do two, but we also could do three. So we we haven't brought it to your attention. We plan on doing that tomorrow. <laughs> Just now. <laughs> no, I mean it's been, it's in the budget, so there's Correct. the timing's fine. I just wanted to show you what our thing. I believe we discussed at workshop that we were going to buy two now and the third later. Right. Right. And it's council.
people want to stay that way, we can certainly do that. But we have, I saw some numbers behind the cars, and that's why I wanted to talk before we made that decision. So it's still two right now. Resolution 2015-231 is a resolution authorizing the police department to purchase three 2015 patrol vehicles. Um, even though there may be a staggered timeline in relation to when that third vehicle gets purchased in the year, there's no reason why, so we've already budgeted for the vehicles not to approve the purchase of the three vehicles at this one time. Um, looking at the vehicles and looking at the existing vehicles and the conditions of them, it is pertinent that we get at the minimum these two vehicles, I prefer to have all three of them, uh, considering some of the conditions of the vehicles we have at this time. <coughs> I brought up last time, John, the um, relationship to the securing of the, the aft end. Has that been uh, taken into consideration? Were you able to get any kind of cost associated It has. Uh, in the following day, I contacted the state patrol, their fleet manager, to find out what they do. And you, it's something that we overlooked. You know, what we did do, and it's not in this, the money would be less than what it says here, but we, we changed patrol cars we're getting rid of. So we don't need to purchase in car video cameras. That saved about $12,000. Then those, uh, three of those saves to about $4,030, I think, for three of them to be installed. So, but our numbers are adjusted for that, as yes. far as the, this purchase is. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I'm <clears throat> I seconded it because the motion is to buy three vehicles. I would encourage, based on the, the information that I've received, that we do buy all three vehicles as well. Um, now, because it appears that we are in dire need of them. Um, so, I mean, I want to approve all three. It's up to the mayor and staff to determine when they're purchased. You know, our job is to approve them. It's in the budget. And since it's in the budget, I personally would like to see them purchased outright now. Okay. Yes, I would like to see that all three cars are purchased at this time right now because we, there's no sense in prolonging it and having another car break down and we spent four or $5,000 on it to get it going again. It takes too much to get a vehicle. Uh, I, there's no advantage to waiting <coughs> and not ordering off right now. Any comments from Council? One of the reasons I came to the conclusion that I did on purchasing all three vehicles now is because there's wait time to purchase a new vehicle, but when one breaks down, there's time that it's out of service, and the time that it sits out of service and is, is unusable is the problem that we have because we don't have a, a lot of spare vehicles sitting around to be used, and the ones that we do are in just as bad a shape as the ones that are breaking down. So I just think it would be best that we, we put this on. Okay. Comments from the audience. Don Thompson, 406 Second Avenue, South Pacific. I feel it's very important that the three vehicles be purchased because the last administration cut a vehicle from the police department, which gave them one less than what they requested. So, in all sense, the purposes they're short one vehicle that they should have had. Further comments from council, or from the audience, sorry. Why not? Gene Fancher, 37248, 55th Avenue, Southwest Hill. Great four-wheel drive or all-wheel drive SUVs. Sounds good. You found the safe to put in the back. A um, friend of mine said you can also have the locking, what is the riot gun bar up front. And that's also a way to secure <coughs> the weapons. Um, I, I would like to ask if the police department has considering, considered transferring some of the equipment 
from the old vehicles to the new. I know on several occasions uh, members of the council have suggested that. Uh, lights, computers I guess are shot, cameras you're going to transfer, that's good. Um, because I noticed on the price of the three vehicles it added up to about three times thirty, ninety thousand dollars, and then there was another what does that leave? Uh, out of two hundred and sixty one, seventy thousand dollars just for add on equipment. So I wondered if those any of those add ons have been put out to bid or if you approve the contract or the uh, appropriation for all three vehicles and equipment, can requests or proposals be put out for the add on equipment to probably get a lower price and save a little money? which could go for other things. Thank you. Okay, further comments from the audience? Okay, and then we'll call the conversation. Aye. Councilmember Kidd? Aye. Councilmember Steiger? Aye. And Councilmember Jones? Aye. So are we going to be doing a budget amendment though because we only budgeted 150 for cost? Well, John and I met a few days ago. We discussed some of the trade ins. That's what he, he found out for me. So now it's been reduced to another 8000 So we're getting really close to the budget amount. Okay. So we're going to see if there's any way we can do that. If not, of course, it would, we would okay. do that. All right. Thank you.